What's up, YouTube? We're out here on the 18 Fat Bob. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna give, because I had it for about two weeks, we're gonna give uh, first impressions today. So, uh, we'll get that out the way, and I'll get back because I got some other stuff to do. But first, as per normal, the joke of the day. What sounds, what's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Dad joke's stupid. But, uh, yeah, no, this, uh, this bike is awesome. So we're gonna go up here to the park and, uh, you know, we're gonna knock this video out. It's hot. It's, uh, I don't know. What did I just miss? So, you know, like, um, uh, one reason I got the Fat Bob was one because we're getting ready to, um, move and it's easier to move this than the spider. But, um, uh, also, I'm gonna be honest with you, after riding like the Vulcan, uh, I started to enjoy the uh, two wheels a little more. So, I, uh, you know, it was like, it was pretty much uh, a no brainer that I wanted to go to two wheels after riding the Vulcan. Because I had never rid two wheels before the Spider. So, So, you know, and once, once, once I got on that, it's just so fun, uh, you know, so, and it's not, I'm, I'm paying actually a little less than I did for the Spider uh, monthly, so it's not like it's, uh, like it, it, it's breaking me or nothing, so, overpass, loud, I'd rev bomb, but stock exhaust, not that great. I do. I, I enjoy the, the the counter steering. Of course, I already had the shifting, so I do. I like that. Um, so yeah, that's you know, and I like the way it looks. I love the way the Fat Bob looks um, from the headlight down to the. Uh, Down to the fat tires. The the exhaust, I like the way the exhaust looks. I probably wouldn't even change it out. I'd probably just uh, get some slip-ons. Because I like I like the uh, the curve that the exhaust has. So but we'll talk about that at the park. And, um, you know, like, this, this bike is just awesome. It's so nimble. I mean, you can just throw it around. You know, I, I was doing some night riding last night with my wife. I'll throw some footage in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got the wing angle is awesome. Always building something. And, you know, I'm still a beginner. You know, I had the, I had the Vulcan for like two months. No, I had Vulcan for like a month. So, this, uh, you know, the 107 is, is not like overpowerful. I mean, I can, I can handle it with no problem, you know, especially for someone who hasn't been on two wheels for 
all that long, it's not even it's not even an issue, you know. So, um, but once once we uh, once we stop, we'll get more into it. But yeah, this bike is awesome. It's, I mean, all I can say is this bike is awesome. It's just so nimble and you know a lot of people get oh why don't you get the 114 the 107 and the 114 are pretty similar except you know you have to pay a little more for the 114 so you know I mean I don't need the you know I'm technically this is all they had but I'm not mad about it I think I'm better off with the 107. I'm not trying to, you know, shoot it off the line or carve canyons or nothing because, it, well, there's no canyons in Louisiana to carve, so that's just not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Louisiana, the state sucks. Yeah, I said it. So what? So, uh, we'll get here somewhere and, uh, change the uh god damn it somebody you know why are you people here you know uh eventually i'll find somewhere where there's not you know some people who might may or may not be allowed but but for now enjoy the park yay up YouTube uh, forgive this shaky thing uh, the little mount is kind of cattywampus so I have to fix that but uh, for now we're just gonna give the first impressions of the 2018 Fat Bob uh, the 107 uh, I think they call it vivid black and um, well let's get to it thing uh, I like the, the bar and chill and I like the design on the uh, on the tank here so but oh yeah you gotta you gotta love these embossed wheels right here little yeah those, that's just awesome but yes indeed it's so much fun um, one thing I would say the only real issue that I have, and it's a personal issue, and it's, you know, it's my fault because, you know, it's me, is that the, the foot pegs are very small. It wouldn't be a big deal if I had smaller feet, but since I have a size 17 foot, 
it's kind of an issue just a little bit of an issue but other than that that's it and oh and the, the kickstand's weird like you put it down and the bike kind of stands up but you got to make sure you lean it over otherwise the bike will probably just you know fall and you know nobody wants to uh pay for that shit so but i love the look the seat is comfortable nice gel you know it's like a like a gel seat it's so hot because you know it's probably 90 degrees here in louisiana southern louisiana so um love the dual disc brakes i need to wash it i know this um but yeah there there's not really many issues i have with it um thinking about moving the mirrors underneath or getting some uh some different some longer longer the longer stem see it's kind of short and this right there all i see for the most part is uh me and now i'm not complaining i like to look at myself <laughs> oh yes ego but um it's kind of a pain but i do head checks anyway so it's okay um shit, it's hot outside but um but yeah there are some uh you know of course there's upgrades planned because nobody buys anything and leaves it stock because that's just ridiculous um so we're gonna end up changing the exhaust because it's quiet and that's just not cool um everything i have is loud my truck's loud the spider was loud um so i gotta change these um probably not gonna go with full exhaust probably just gonna go with a slip on because like i said i like i like the way it's designed but i'm probably gonna take off the heat shields paint them like maybe a black or maybe a gray give it some contrast from the black like a battleship gray and then have some uh, you know some exhaust back there uh we're gonna change out we're gonna end up changing out the turn signals front and rear get rid of the bulb and go with like leds and we're gonna put some new grips there's nothing wrong with these grips but they're just um they're not they're not uh they're just not my style and we're gonna get some uh gonna light it up probably um uh, Probably not just one color, probably the, the one where you can change the color from your phone. I know uh, Bike and Bird put some lights on his Dyna on Street Bob and he controls it from his phone, so it's pretty cool. Um, the Spider, I put him on the Spider, but that, it had a remote and that's just troublesome. Um, of course, you got the trusty Ram mount. Uh, so that's that's pretty much the the bike i don't really have uh any major gripes about it um in the two weeks i've had it it's got um about 200 miles on it because it rains all the time here and surprisingly it's not raining right now it's just really hot but it'll probably rain tomorrow because this state sucks yes i said it again um that's that's the bike though Oh, the other thing is you do get some heat right in this area. Like if you're sitting at a stoplight, you're going to feel that heat. But once you, you know, of course, once you start moving, it, it's just fine. Um, love this. This has helped me out immensely. I'm a bigger guy and it allows me to uh, just dial it in real quick. Uh, oh, I want to get a flush mount gas cap like, um, like Blockhead. He's got one. I think that's just really cool. It helped, you know, I think it could contribute to the to the lines of uh, of the tank. Um, yeah, but other than that, that's it. Just a you know quick video on the on the 18 Fat Bob. I love this bike. Um, like I was saying, because I mean I'm still a new rider, but this bike is it inspires. No, that's the wrong word. What's the word? Mm. Ah, 
it instills courage in a new rider even it, it being a 107 um, you just feel once you get on it you feel like like you know you, it feels like you you really know what you're doing even though you may not but you feel like it um, it's fantastic because prior to this bike I had the Vulcan and I'd never been on the interstate but I got this bike on a Friday took it out on a Sunday after it stopped raining and hopped right on the interstate and just felt right at home I felt like I'd been doing it for years on two wheels even though I've only really been doing it for a month and we'll call it a month and a half um, but yeah this bike is awesome love the digital display got the uh, neutral light oil engine digital display right there love I love 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 having a uh, fuel indicator um, I like the keyless entry or not entry it's not a car but the keyless remote you know so um, you know what I'm also gonna probably get some levers only because it's I feel like shorty levers would be good if you know they start making them. You know, got to give it a little time. Love that headlight. Yeah. While I'm out here, I might just make a video on this on this bag right here. This this tank bag that I that I got from uh, Cycle Gear. So uh, stay tuned for that. But this bike is awesome. I love that, it, you know, every time I think that I'm finished saying something about it, I find something else. Um, I love the, uh, the USB port that they got right there. You know, you know, you can charge your phone right up to the ram mount. Um, it's got, you know, they got put the, that, that pigtail in there. So this bike is awesome. What can I say? I mean, I could not, I don't think I could have picked a better bike. It, you know, I feel when I ride it, I feel at one with this bike. Like the Spider, I could go for weeks and not ride it, but I can already see that uh, with this, if I went weeks without riding it, I'd probably have an issue. This bike is so much fun. Um, if you're looking for a bike, you know, you want to get a new Harley, check out. Uh, Baton Rouge Harley down on Segan. You go talk to Perry. He's a good salesman. He's a good talk to. Good guy all around. And then when it's time for you to do your finance, you want to hook up, you want to hook up with Leonard, because he's gonna make it happen. Trust me. He will work with everybody he can to make it happen. And when you go, you tell him that I, this is Greg Strickland, also known as West Coast Southern. They don't really know that, but they that I sent you there. And uh, you'll probably get, you'll really get a good deal. Um, so definitely, definitely check them out. Um, I'm gonna try. They got, uh, speaking of which, they got the uh, reveal of the, you know, the 2019s are coming down Saturday. I'm gonna try to make it, but I make no promises. We got some other stuff planned. Um, but yeah, I love this bike. It's so fun. I was thinking about changing out the bars, but I might just keep them like that. I like the Rider Triangle. Um, I would sit on it and take a picture, but this mount is stupid. So yeah, that is, that is it. That is the bike. One last go around. So just in case you think you can't, I would say I am 6'4", 3 plus, and I fit on this bike perfectly. So if you're anywhere from my gear, I would say like 5'7", and up, you can, you can fit on this bike. This bike is fantastic. 
So definitely, definitely consider the Fat Bob. I know a lot of people don't like them because they say it looks, it doesn't look, you know, like the ideal Harley, but I think they're, they're shooting for the younger generation here. And me being only 29, kind of fall into that category. So definitely, definitely consider the Fat Bob. Um, 107 or the 114, it's a personal preference, but it's all, it's all good. And plus this is one of the, I think it's the only soft tail with dual front brakes. And they do, they will stop you. So, you know, don't worry about that. All right. Remember to uh, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you smash that subscribe button because it really helps me out. And it puts a smile on my face. Hell, I got 15 subscribers. I didn't even think I'd ever get there. I was just starting to make the videos to make the videos because it got me out the house. You know, sometimes you just need a break. So make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll keep trying to make the videos here and there. But uh, more on a regular basis, I guess, because I think, you know, YouTube says, you know, regular basis uploads will help you out. So we'll do that. All right. Later.